Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. I'm just back from a busy morning on the allotments and looking for something relaxing to do this afternoon. So I decided that I would use up some empty windowsill space and pot on my peppers because they're looking pretty big at the moment and they need some more space to grow. So I'll show you around the grow room and what's going on in there and then we'll get on and get those peppers sorted out. So there's a lot going on in this little room. I'll uh, quickly show you what's happening. So we've got some lots of tomatoes which I've only recently potted on, so they're doing nicely. A couple of courgettes. Most of my courgettes are out in the ground now, under cover, but uh, I've got a few more in here. There's a little batch of tomatoes at the back there that need uh, potting on pretty soon. And some, these are tomatoes that I bought actually, and I bought them because they grafted. And I quite fancied just trying a few grafted tomatoes, just see what the difference is. And then I've got some little kales, which are just waiting to be planted out. They're gonna go out today. And some New Zealand spinach, my first batch of uh, squash, crown prince. I'll actually be sowing my next batch in a couple of days time. And then some more tomatoes down here, some more New Zealand spinach, more tomatoes. But this is what needs sorting out today, the peppers. And there's a lot there and they're all outgrowing their pots. I don't need this many, thankfully. Um, so uh, anyway, I'm gonna get potting those and I need some space obviously because they're quite, the window trays at the moment with six, six module trays. So they're very densely packed in here. So they're gonna take a lot more space up when I pot them on. But thankfully, these carrots are all germinated now so they can move outside. And I've just cleared my windowsills. So that's a perfect place for the peppers. And I've got another windowsill there, I can stick another two. These windowsills have both got fans at the end. There's one there and there's one there. So the peppers will like that, a bit of air movement. Up on my grow shelf, place for the peppers here as well. Get another couple in there. I've got my early sweet corn. That's gonna go under cover pretty soon. My early cucumber is doing great. Got so many cucumbers on here. I'm really pleased with that. I'm not so pleased with my early tomatoes. Whilst I've got some trusses, I'm on the second truss here. The size of the trusses is tiny. But we live and learn. These are the pots that I'm going to use. And when I was clearing them out of the store, I found a few slugs in there. So I'm going to give them a blast with the hose just in case there's any eggs and I've cleared lots of stuff from the grow room into this little coal frame and there's another one down at the other end there and the netting that's on the grass there is because I'm having a lot of problems with the birds scratching around in the beds and so I'm going to put some of that bird netting over it you can see maybe the Blackbird hopping around in there. Making a right old mess. So I'm going to get that bird netting done soon. So they're all nice and clean. So I've got three new ace, um, which is a bit like a California wonder. I've got some three California wonder there. I've got another six new ace there Weed. and then some long red marconi so i think those are the ones i'm going to pot up right so let's get started so the big pots are going to be for the california wonder and the new ace the bell peppers and the little pots are going to be for the cyan peppers, those, 
and I'm going to use, this is the compost that I managed to get from the garden centre. Uh, pretty tricky to get compost at the moment because so many places are closed. And at, at the bottom I'm just going to look, put a little bit of this Marshall's Organic Extra which is a slow release fertiliser. And hopefully that should last them. These ones I'm potting up are going to be for their um, polytunnel. And the polytunnel is currently full and it won't be empty until middle of May. So basically I want them in the pots until the middle of May and then I'll transition over. Um, the ones that I'm going to leave in the conservatory, they are fine because they're going to get planted into the low tunnels and the low tunnels have currently got spinach in them which will have gone to seed by the end of the month. So they really only just need to stay uh, in these small trays for a few more weeks. So that's not so bad. So I'm going to get on with these and I'll bring you back. So I thought I'd just show you one of the root balls and that's about the way I want to see it. It's not too compact and I do just want to break it up a little bit before I plant it just so the roots go into the compost. And so there we go, just sort of teased it apart just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to get on and plant all these up that didn't survive. And that had a very small root on it. So I'll get rid of that. So now I'm turning my attention to the pots, the plants that are going to uh, stay in these small modules. And you can see the soil has shrunk down quite a lot in these parts and there's some roots coming through at the tops so I'm going to refill these with uh, compost right to the brim and uh, you know just settle the soil down with a good watering so there you go I'm much happier with that that soil holds a bit more moisture probably actually I've added 30 percent uh, additional uh, compost into those pots because uh, I pushed it down a little bit as well. Um, so yeah, more moisture, a few more nutrients. Quite happy with that. So it does kind of look like I'm back where I started, but actually I have got these planted up here. These on this windowsill. And that windowsill. And uh, keeping that cucumber company, I've got some up there as well. I just need to do those tomatoes, but that's a job for another day. So, I hope you like this quick video, and I'll see you soon.